In this segment, I'm going to talk about eliminating negatives from our mind. In the garden of our consciousness, negatives are the weeds. And if left unattended, they choke out our inspirations, our hopes, our dreams. Negatives serve no purpose for us, and yet it makes absolutely no difference to the mind whether you think constructive thoughts or destructive thoughts. It makes no difference to the mind. It makes all the difference to us. It makes all the difference to our life. It makes all the difference to the things that are going to happen to us, but it makes no difference to the mind. Now notice I'm speaking of you and your mind as if they're different. And they are different. Now I'm going to share with you something very important to understand. And that is that you are not your mind. Just like you're not your hand. Your hand is a part of who you are. And you're not your foot. And your, your foot is a part of who you are. And you're not your mind. Your mind is simply a part of who you are. It's not you. In the mind power training, uh, one of the names that I give to the conscious mind is the great trickster. And the reason that I call it this is because our mind tricks us all the time. It limits us. It fools us. It brings us negative thoughts. And if we think that we're our mind, then we have to listen to every single thought that happens but we're not our mind. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate negative thinking from our mind. Now there are four excellent techniques for eliminating negatives from the mind. And I want to share two of them with you right now. The first technique is called cut it off. And in the cut it off technique, what we do is the instant that we find ourselves thinking a negative thought, we just immediately cut it off and insert a totally different thought into our mind. We don't argue with it. We don't analyze it. We don't defend ourselves against it. We just cut it off. And the key in this technique is the instant that you're thinking a negative thought. Like maybe the negative thought comes to you, oh, you're worthless, nothing much is going to happen to you. And you find yourself thinking it and you go, oh, wait, that's a negative thought. Just cut it off and insert a totally different thought. Now, in the second technique is totally different. Instead of cutting it off, what we do is we label it. We say to ourselves, what is happening inside me is I am now experiencing quotation marks and negative thought. It has no more power over us than what we give it. And here I'm going to share with you something that when you understand this next truth, you are 75% of the way of eliminating all negatives from your mind just by understanding this next truth. And that is that negatives only have power over you if you react to them. If we fail to react to the negative, it has no power. For example, when you're thinking a negative thought and you go, oh my God, what's going to happen? I just know that's going to happen. Maybe the thought is, oh, you're never going to get ahead financially. And you start thinking about that. That's true. It's not. And, and it builds upon itself and it is getting its power from you. Negatives are like psychic leeches. They get their power from us. So in the second technique, what we do is we simply remind ourselves. It's only a negative thought. It's only a negative thought. And you realize, wait, it's only a negative thought. That takes the power away from it. I mean, wouldn't it be great if when negatives came, they came with, like, with a little light that flashed to warn us, or maybe a little warning sound like, dun, 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 dun. you're about to hear a negative thought. You can choose to believe it or not. I mean, wouldn't that be great if that's the way they came? But it's not. When negatives come, they come like the voice of God. Guess what's going to happen to you? They come with such authority. And of course, because we don't know that we're not our mind, we have to sit there and listen to it. You know, from this point on, you don't have to do that. In the six laws of the mind, 
The fourth law is the law of control. And it states that we are forever experiencing thoughts, but we have the power and the ability to either entertain these thoughts or dismiss them. We control our thoughts. So the next time you find yourself thinking negatively, why don't you try one of these techniques and see how well they work? No longer do we have to be overwhelmed with negatives. No longer do they have power over us. From this point on, we have the techniques to eliminate negatives from our mind. So go out and use them.